What's up you guys, it's Zamara, and today I am back with a topic that this was one of my earliest ideas for a video, but I never really got to thinking about it until recently, given that I have been assaulted with this topic a lot. And that's about my ideal wedding. And this was inspired in many ways. A, it's a goal that I have in life that's very important to me. Therefore, I have thought about it for a long time. And additionally, I have seen, especially over Facebook, I've been assaulted with stories of everybody who I used to know or went to school with, all of a sudden they're getting married. And some people who I've worked with are also getting married. And then some folks just relatively close to me in general are also tying the knot. So I'm like, all right. Um, that one person who's like falling behind but anyway and I just want to go over the stuff that to me would make that big day ideal so let's just jump into it um, first and foremost the ceremony or whenever we decide to get this done it's not forced like right now I feel a lot of pressure in a sense because some people always ask me so uh, when are you getting married this and that and they also ask my boyfriend the same thing and i'm like that dude that's the last thing in his mind all right so being with him i gotta be bracing myself and accept the fact that i may not have this happen to me like i may not make it to marriage and although that's a goal of mine at least for now, I still believe in this dude so much that I don't find myself disturbed by that idea. At first, it used to hurt me because I'm like, oh, wow, am I wasting my time? And I would ask him about it. I'm like, hey, what's your stand on this? Because to me, this is important. I know for you it isn't. What is this going to mean to us? So, I mean, everything is cool unless we discuss this. And... Sometimes I wonder why that's the case, why we cannot just discuss this at any time and be fine with it. But I mean, dude has his reasons. He's just, this is not his stuff, you know. So I just don't mess with him anymore. And I've also learned to just not be overly attached to some things. It's okay to change your opinions on some things. And honestly, you can be with someone and love someone and everything. And you don't have to necessarily be married. Marriage is just something for society to just see, if you ask me. But but for me, there are some aspects of the vows that I believe in. So that's why a part of me wants to remain excited about that. But I also understand that it may not happen to me. So, you know. But anyway, I'm veering off course. And this is about what would make that day ideal for me. So let me get back in the place. Um, so yeah, the man and I would be ready and really want each other because sometimes I feel like, you know, the pressure that you hear from other people and seeing that everybody's like getting it done, you feel like the train is leaving you, but you know, this is, nothing is obliged around here. Um, when it comes to the ceremony itself, I would like for it to be like very small and simple and just give me that intimate sense. Um, I would like for only our closest folks to be there, meaning in this case it would be predominantly his family, those that he considers appropriate because I don't have a family. So it's like I really don't have anybody on my side to come over so for me that would take a little bit of a toll mentally because i'll be surrounding myself by individuals who i barely know so for my own comfort that's why i feel like i would like for this to be as very small as possible and i also feel like the smaller it is then less people that you have to please and the more genuine that the event is because sometimes if you throw a big party or a big celebration there's always someone who's going to show up who's totally irrelevant and I'm not saying that I'm that type of person who just kicks out people and tries to spoil the fun of other people but I'm just saying that 
some people don't belong at every single one of your functions. Um, but anyway, when it comes to attire, anybody can wear whatever, just so long as you have clothes and, you know, I don't want you to have to stress out over, oh, I have to buy a dress or a suit or whatever. Just, you can show up in jeans and I don't care. I will probably wear something that's not even that fancy myself like i guess for the sake of um tradition i would get married in white because i can given that i still have my purity but like i mean i'm not going to be looking at everybody with a magnifying glass and be like no you have to look this way um you know it's whatever you can wear just be legally bound which is you gotta wear something you know <laughs> so but yeah I just don't want for anybody to be stressing out over that and one of my lights just had a seizure great anyway it's probably gonna come back on um, at any rate um our favorite foods would be featured and this is particularly ideal for me because given that this is a big celebration it should be pretty delicious you know so for me i love indian food um especially i guess their spices their spices really go well on anything so um but you know it doesn't have to be something big or something fancy but something that we both enjoy given that it's our day but something that the few guests that we would have would also enjoy Good quality, that's all. Um, the ideal months for this would be April, March, or November. March and April because I just love spring. Those are my favorite seasons and the temperature is optimal for me during those months. And November for the very same reason except that it's kind of inverted. It's like it's early or mid-fall but at the same time it's not plain like winter but not um overwhelmingly hot for me like in the summer to me that would ruin my mood a really hot um wedding um and i just overall i just want for everybody to enjoy themselves to remember this day you know and um just get together and share memories, create memories, and, you know, I, I just want to be able to tell the story of, you know, this is the guy, you know, and this is how we met, and I remember this, I remember that, or, you know, what I'm wearing today reminds me of so-and-so, or little things like that, any object that has a story attached to it, you just tell it, and... Um, if you're eating something that day that signifies something, you just express it. You know, it's it's very simple. I'm not complicated like that. And then we also don't have to travel anywhere. Like, for all I care, we could have it done in the backyard if we have one. Um, but, you know, I'm just not demanding like that. I mean, I know how to not attach significance to stuff that really doesn't have it. Um, and what else can I say? The setting, it doesn't have to be like uber decorated. In fact, I don't need any decorations. That's absolutely not something that I'm thinking about. It's just, I just need for there to be the corresponding individuals and for the place to be like safe, you know, um, something that shields you against the weather, whatever it may be. And then the priest or whatever <laughs> who needs to be present. And then the few family members, you know, it's, I don't sound very excited about this, but it's because really, to me, it's not the wedding itself that makes me excited. It's what it means to what I'm doing, you know, what, what it means to sign those papers and, and, you know, and just reunite with folks who you regularly don't see. That's really it. Um, so, 
I know that some people, they obsess over, oh, how many guests we're going to have, send out the invitations, order the dresses, order the cakes and stuff. That's not me. Even even if I had the my finances straight to where I can have like a huge party like that, sincerely, it's just not my thing. Um, because all of that is just, it's just a business movement, if you ask me, because there are so many side companies that you got to contact to have your wedding set up. What's that? It's like dying. Why are funerals so freaking expensive? They don't have to be. I mean, they are because someone needs to make money out of the occasion. So I'm not going to boost their economy like that. It's beside the point. What are they doing for me? I mean, it's not something that I'm going to benefit from for the rest of my life. It's only for one day. And for what? To give a show to society? Like, no. I don't need that type of um, pretense. I hope pretense is the word that I mean to use. What I'm trying to say is I don't need to show off an image that I'm not. Um, also, I don't want for it to just drag on. There are some ceremonies and parties in which you can tell that people are just ready to go, but they stay out of courtesy, um, despite the stuff just dragging on. It's, it's simple. Just get it done. Say what you have to say. And, you know, we'll thank you and all that. And after that, everybody can resume their lives, you know? I don't like to be that type of person who has control over your time like that. You know, it makes me feel wrong. Oh, hey, welcome. Um, at any rate, also, I don't want for it to be bound by traditions and customs. Like, we are already into the freaking second decade of the 21st century. Some stuff will change, and some stuff has changed, and I'm willing to change with it, if it's for the better. So I just want for everybody to be comfortable with themselves, and know that you're not being judged. All you gotta do is show up and just be nice, which, you know, you would be nice, because that's why we are acquainted in the first place. So at any rate... Um, I just want for the day to not be stressful because the way some people express themselves about, you know, getting everything ready for a wedding, they find themselves overwhelmed and stressed because you gotta mail some stuff and pay some stuff up front and make reservations and junk. You know, I'm not down for that. I just don't want to be worried about designing anything or finding a dress or renting a salon or whatever, having a load of food to feed like a town, just no. That day is about us. It's not about what we can set up or give away or whatever. I mean, to me, it's just such an intimate thing. It's like, I don't see why it needs to be such a big thing, you know, just keep it simple. It should be as simple as the relationship itself. Why would we want to complicate it with this ceremony, you know? So, yeah, you guys, I know that I was all over the place like dirt with this topic, but it's just that my opinion in it is so unpopular, I guess. I mean, at least I've never heard anyone speak about it the way I have right now. So, yeah, you guys, um, I would love to hear your opinions. Um... Who are my married folks out there who's about to get married and um, what do you enjoy the most about it? What do you dislike about it? What do you wish was different? And yeah, just let me know. Just talk away. Um, and yeah, I shall read your thoughts and respond accordingly. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you soon.